Hey, welcome back. This is Pride Boy Channel. If you are interested in programming, productivity, or digital nomad, just click down below the button, the subscribe button, and then click on the bell so you can be up to date to everything we upload over here. Following our plugin development uh, tutorial, I'm going to tell you how to add languages and internationalization to your to your plugin. Uh, it was not that easy as I remember that it was before, <laughs> so. I hope that you enjoy it because it took me a little bit just to remember how, how to do it. And that's going to convert the air in code right now. Okay, so... I mean, the internationalization of any um, blogging team or whatever you want here in WordPress is all related to the I18N uh, um, protocol. So everything over here I mean, the, the whole point of this is that you can have your same code of your plugin team or whatever, and you can always bring uh, different languages depending on the country code and, and language code of the system. So let's see, for example, this H1 that I have here, okay? So in this H1, I mean, this is the search movies over here. So my basic language is, uh, in this case, is English. But if I want to always have the opportunity to change these uh, words to my my other language, in this case, for example, I'm a Spanish native speaker who would like to translate this to Spanish, I need to always bring uh, bring the, the the string with this specific function underscore e and adding the text domain of the plugin. So for the text domain, you always need to set up the, um, the domain over the, the plugin uh, on the plugin description and it's going to be a massive uh, I mean, it's, it's going to be used in all the functions that you that you speak, I mean, that, that you use on the system. So, so for that, so any pride code OMDB change that has the search movies is going to be then translated. Okay, so how does it work? Uh, there are two ways to do this. The first thing that you need to do is you have to um, create, I mean, whatever you want to use these uh, translations, you have to change your code to a using the underscore function. So in this case, it's search movies. Let me put another, let's say, um, for example, like, he, like here on the, like he, I can ask for example, a placeholder, placeholder, uh, placeholder, something like PHP underscore E. movie okay and I'm going to use them I'm going to use them right code OMDB as the text domain for same for here I mean it's the value on the on the search is in English well search but in Spanish is for example buscar so let's see search let's see if this works so there you go. So we have the placeholder here. We have the search movies. Okay. So as long as you do all the changes on your on your plugin team or whatever, as long as you add all these values, for example, here on the yes, uh, HTML, I have the title example with the same text domain. I Many other things that I you, I can add over there. Uh, I need to create then the pod file. So to create the pod file, the easiest way that I have found is just simply using the uh, the WPCLI and uh, okay also something that I forgot is that on the domain path you need to set up a uh, a path on your plugin or team to I mean where you are going to set up the the languages okay so I'm going to let's say this 1.0 version okay I think that we have <coughs> made many progress over here just to consider 1.0 Okay, so for that, 
we have this command called LOP I 18 and there you go. And it tells me that I can create the pod file here using a source. So in this case, the source is going to be the whole system. I mean, the whole plugin structure. So in this case, I am here on plugins for code on MDB and uh, I'm going to set up the destination. So what is the destination? Okay, the destination is language and it's going to be private code omdb.pod. Okay, so you always need to use your text domain. Okay, so the text domain in this case is private code omdb. And uh, if, if your plugin, for example, is, I don't know, my plugin, if I if I if I had something here like a my plugin, I will have to then change over here everything to my plugin. So at the moment that the WordPress is create the, the WordPress CLI is creating the pot, it is it is going to review all the strings using this uh, get text uh, functions using this text domain. Okay, so it's gonna keep it as a private code MDB just to, I mean, just for the for the change. I mean, the, the code that we have been doing for several videos. So it's a private code OMDB that pot, and I'm going to tell that this log of the plugin is private code OMDB. There you go. Okay, so now I have the pot. Okay. So there are two ways to create, I mean, now you have to create the PO file and the MO file. So for that, yeah, I mean, to create the PO file, you need to, you have two options. You can create it by common line, I'm going to do it using get text or creating it with a, with a, with a, with a uh, application called PO edit here. I am not a uh, GUI guy, but I'm going to give you the two options for now. So let's see if we can make it this work. So in this case, okay, so let's take a look of the file that was created here. So one sec. As you can see, this is like an, uh, this is a, um, let's say like a template, like a default template for all the code. <clears throat> so it is telling me that, for example, in the file, lib widgets on the line 36, I have this title example. So how the system works? Well, when WordPress goes for the, goes for, I mean, to print this title example, it is going to say, okay, does exist any MO or PO file that determines the, um, that determines the, the translation for this? If it exists, that's the file that we're going to create in two minutes, then just print it. Okay. Uh, it's always important just to have declared your, your um, text domain. So you always have to load the text domain for that. So in this case, and the action in it, I'm going to create a, a function called private code uh, language text domain load. Okay. So always you are going to bring the the text domain for that, in this case, through the same program MDB. I'm going to tell you, hey, you know what? Just look at all the files that you have on this languages directory, okay? So we have that. It's going to use get text. I am not sure if this function is if, if this um, software is in, is in Mac OS. I mean, I found it on my computer, but maybe if it is not, I'm pretty sure there's something so easy like a preview install x get text and that's it and for ubuntu or, or i don't know well any other unix i mean it should be something like an apt get install x get test or whatever okay so let get test is going to get the help for this and we get here that it needs an option and an input file so the input file for this is going to be the pod file, okay? So we're going to tell, oh, you know what? Give me xgettest with an output 
call languages the same write code omdb dash this dash the the this, the dash the language and country code in this case i'm going to use a spanish colombia.mo and the source is going to be languages write code omdb pot as you can see, the file was created here as sprite code ONDB S code. So with this template, what I'm going to do is just to simply do the changes of the, of the names that I need. So in this case, for example, I'm going to do search movies and I'm going to say, hey, you know what, on search movies, just put uh, buscar películas. That's the translation. For the search, this is buscar. And for movies, this is películas. So as long as I save, as I save this, I need to then create the mo file, the .mo. Uh, oh my God! This was the sorry. It was not mo. It was po. So I'm just gonna move it. One sec. Let's see if it works. Let's go mo languages. PO. So from the PO, I'm going to then use WP IATN and I'm going to say A. Okay, one second. So, so we have the make MO. The make MO is the machine object that is the, going to be loaded by the system. So make MO source is going to be pri code ONDB as PO. And the destination is going to be just simply the folder. That's it. And this is where it created this file. Okay. So in theory, if I should just reload this, it should work. But it's not. So how it works? So let's, uh, let's do a change here. I already have installed this Espanol from Colombia. I'm in Colombia. So if I save changes over here, let's see. And there you go. It changed it. Yep, it changed it all. That's it. Let's see one more thing here, just to be sure. Um, do, do, do. Oh, right here. Okay. Well, so that's the first option that's going to eliminate this sprite code uh, PO and MO file just to do it with PO edit. Okay. So always use this WP CLI because it's way easier. To be honest, it took me a while, a very long while, just to try to get to create the .pod file. <laughs> so believe me, this is the easiest way. So I'm going to then say languages, uh, code ONDB, S, yeah, there you go. Okay, so now we don't have the, but we have the pod. So it's going to use pre-edit. And it's going to tell me, hey, you know what? From the pre OT file, just create this. And look at this. This is for the people that like this. I don't like it, to be honest, but well, whatever. So I'm going to do this GUI thing. Switch movies is going to be buscar películas, PO edit. Send a película, PO edit and buscar PO edit. Okay, so I just simply save the file and I'm going to use the same, right code OMDB as CO and it's going to save me, look at that. It, it, did, it did it for PO and MO file immediately. So if I reload this, it should showing me the PO the changes. And that's how you add your languages to your plugins. Thank you. So we added the languages, uh, in this case for my country, S underline co. But remember that you, if you want to do it to any other of your language, you need to look at for the country code and, and the language code. There are many sources over there. Also, you can go to the Google just to look at for the PO edit uh, program. I forgot to show it on the screen report, but it's, uh, it's important that you keep your mind. 
you can add as many MO and PO files that you want for your for your language changes. And you also need, I mean, I just did it for two or three things on my HTML, but you can simply just translate your whole plugin for it. Remember that all the code is going to be on GitHub. I, I mean, I know that I haven't done it before, but everything is going to be up to date by the end of the next month maximum. It's just that I have been pretty busy just to uh, be, I mean, to get up to date to all the code and, and things that I have to, to, to upload to the blog and to the GitHub system. Uh, you also can follow me on my, my Instagram channel at Aldi Nomad. If you have any comments, just leave it down below. Uh, it's pretty cool for us just to see that, uh, that the community is growing. Uh, if you think that this video is useful, just share it. It really helps us just to grow and, and bring more content like this for you. And if you like the video, just thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.